given what I do for a living, I eat out probably 300 times more a year, probably a lot more than that if I was to do an account with myself, my accountant and my doctor. One of the things that makes a meal is obviously not just great food, uh, and obviously the ambience. Here we are at Akasha, which is a great restaurant. It's the service. You know, for me, the service is everything. And, and one of the things I've found that, that as restaurants become more casual, a lot of service has become more casual too. Now, that's good in a lot of ways because you can really engage with your server. But I do think sometimes people just go overboard a little bit and, and, and service is becoming, I think, a, a little too casual. And, and, and that doesn't mean that you don't want your server to be friendly, but you know that there's a, a great balance between how a server interacts with you and how your experience is. Sometimes you're in a business meeting, like I have lots, and, and you need to have a little privacy, you need to have a little formality. Other times, you know, you're just out for a good time and the more humorous and fun your server is, the better the experience. But I do have five rules that I say your, your server should never do if they want to make sure they get their gratuity. And my first one is, you know what? A server should never hunker down. It's, it's one of my great bugbears, you know, when a server comes and they kind of squat down at the table and, and stare at you and say, you know, how are you doing, guys? And, and usually I say, well, not very well. It's one of those things, I don't know, tell me if you agree with me, but it, it really turns me off. And hell, if they come and sit down at a chair, which someone did with me recently, they came up to my table, flipped the chair around and kind of sat on it backwards as if they were in dance school or something. And I, I'm afraid that just drives me nuts. The second rule, for any server if they don't want to lose their tip is to realize that most people are perfectly capable of topping up their wine glass and knowing when to do it. And I'm not completely stupid, I may, I may look like I am, but I know when people top up wine glasses in a lot of restaurants, they're doing it because they're trying to basically get you to order more wine. And so I'm usually pretty strict. When people come and offer, I usually just say, you know what, we can handle that ourselves. One of my other rules happens when it comes to complaining about a dish. Um, and I find that a lot of restaurants now, if you complain about a dish that you know how it's supposed to be made, but you've been presented with a bad example, will often come up and go, oh, well, that's how the chef prepares it here. And it drives me nuts because you know that's not how the dish is supposed to be prepared. And often, if you've eaten in that restaurant, you know it's not even how they normally prepare it. Um, and I usually say, well, if that's how he prepares it, he needs to be ashamed or he's hung over. Uh, so, you know, please gonna have it again. Now, sometimes they take it away and they bring it back and you're pretty sure they've added some secret sauce to the uh, replacement, but you shouldn't be afraid to complain if you know a dish is badly made. One of my great, great dislikes in a restaurant is when while one person is still eating, they'll come and clear the plates from the other people at the table. I really hate that, I really hate it. You know what? Leave all the plates on the table until everyone's finished, then come do your job. Otherwise, you're gonna lose your gratuity. And here's the final rule, if you wanna make sure you keep your gratuity as a great server. Don't disappear when I actually need you. I'll tell you a story about a recent meal, and it certainly wasn't here at Akasha where the service is terrific, how a server lost their gratuity, and it's because they disappeared when I came to need the check. Three, four, five times I tried to wave at them to get my check. In the end, I picked up my cell phone and I phoned the front desk. And they picked it up and they said the name of the restaurant. And I said, would you mind turning around? They turned around and I kind of waved at them. And I said, I've been waiting here for 20 minutes. I'd really like my check. And then all hell broke loose and they ran over and brought me my check and dealt with it. And that's an extreme example, but you know, just keep sure as, sure as a server that you're watching your table. And you know, when you arrive, it's great that you're received well. When you leave, it's great that they've dealt with it quickly. And one of the things for me, if I have to wait more than you know, 10 minutes for my check, there's probably gonna be a reduced gratuity.